welcome to the data structure and algorithms online tutorial video. In the last video, we have learnt about the tree data structures and in this video, we will discuss about the properties of tree. And before going to the properties of tree, let's have a quick recap of the previous video. We saw that a tree data structure is a non-linear data structure because it does not store in a sequential manner. It is a hierarchical structure as elements in a tree are arranged in a multiple levels. Each node contains some data and data can be of any type and contains a link or reference to the other nodes and it can be called as a children. We also saw some of the basic terms used to understand the tree data structure. Root node, parent node, child node, siblings and leaf node. Now let's see the properties of tree. The properties of tree data structure are recursive data structure, number of edges, depth and height of the node x. A tree is a recursive data structure because each node has a reference to its other subtrees. The root node of the tree contains a link to all the roots of its subtrees. As you can see here, tree 1, tree 2 and tree 3 are subtrees. And in the tree shown here, there are two subtrees. The root node is in black color, the left subtree is in red color and the right subtree is in yellow color. This tree can be further split into two subtrees. Node number 2 has three subtrees and I am showing these subtrees with different colors red, blue and green. Recursion is basically reducing something in a self similar manner. The next property we will see is number of edges. If there are n nodes then there would be n minus 1 edges. Each arrow in the structure represents the link or path. Each node except the root node will have at least one incoming link known as edge. Here we will take one node, for example node 2. There is one incoming link and three outgoing links. There would be one link for parent-child relationship. Now we will talk about depth of node x. The depth of node x can be defined as the length of the path from the root to the node x. One edge contributes one unit length in the path. So the depth of the x can also be defined as the number of edges between the root node and node x. The root node has zero depth. Say for example, we consider node 5. It has two edges in the path from root. So the depth of this node is 2. In this tree, the depth of node 2 and 3 is 1. Depth of node 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 is 2. And the depth of the node 9, 10, 11 is 3. Next is height of node x. The height of node x can be defined as the longest path from the node x to the leaf node. The height of the node will be equal to the number of edges in the longest path from x to a leaf. In this tree, the longest path for the node 3 to leaf is 2. So, the height of node 3 is 2. I am coloring all leaf nodes into blue. Now, let's see what will be the height of the root node in this tree. We can reach all the nodes from the root node. Number of edges in the longest path is 3. So, the height of the root node is 3. In the next video, we will discuss types of trees. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel. And please hit on bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. Install DSA application from the Google Play Store or from the link given in the description below. Please let us know if you have any queries in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.